There was tension in the hallway after a judge set the trial date for a former Fort Worth police officer charged with murder. Hello, I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. A small crowd confronted former officer Aaron Dean at the elevator. Murderer. Killer. Murderer. The devil. How you sleeping at night, sir? Officer, former officer Dean made no comment and left without further incident. He shot and killed a Tatiana Jefferson inside her mother's home during a welfare check in October 2019. The first possible day for jurors in place and a murder trial witnesses on the stand will be January 10th, but it could be later. Fox 4's Dion Anglin has more from today's court hearing. Dion. Yeah, that's right. The judge in this case acknowledged that there is a substantial backlog of cases here in Tarrant County. He also pointed out there are circumstances that warrant the murder case against Aaron Dean soon proceed. No comment. With protesters heckling him in the hallway, former Fort Worth officer Aaron Dean, free on bond, left his court hearing with a trial date set for January 10th. No comment at this time. Waiting for an elevator, Dean refused to react to the crowd. Killer, murderer, the devil. How you sleeping at night, sir? During the hearing itself, Dean sat quietly with his attorneys. And the jury will be come in on the 4th, but we will try it. The actual trial setting will be January 10th. Judge David Hagerman set specific dates for moving the case forward and made reference to the possibility the defense will seek a change of venue. Disclosure of any experts to each side will be done on or before November 23rd, 2021. All motions are to be filed. That means all motions including any change of venue motions are to be filed by November 30th. Dean has been out on bond since his arrest more than two years ago for the murder of 28-year-old Atatiana Jefferson. In October of 2019, she was inside her mother's home babysitting her nephew and playing video games. Dean responded to the residents after a neighbor called for a welfare check because the front door was open late at night. Put your hands up. Show me your hands. Show me. Dean yelled and opened fire, shooting through a window toward a shadowy figure that was Jefferson. She had grabbed her gun to check out what she thought was a prowler in the backyard. Do each of you solemnly swear or affirm that in the case of the state of Texas versus Aaron York Dean, the testimony you'll give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Media, publicity, and public activism have been dominant aspects of the case. Three potential trial witnesses were sworn in Tuesday, among them the publisher of the Fort Worth Weekly newspaper and Fort Worth City Councilman Chris Nettles, who campaigned on a promise of bringing justice for Jefferson. All the while, Jefferson's sisters and other family supporters listened intently. We will hear all motions in this trial, including the change of venue motion the week of December 6th. The brief hearing ended with the judge reiterating a gag order that remains in place. And Jefferson's supporters clearly unhappy about another delay. So she don't get Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's Eve, but guess what? He does. Now, uh, the Jefferson's family members were present again uh, in the courtroom today, but after that hearing, they did not comment on the delay, the delay thus far or the new date that has been set.